Ion Radio is back on the air from the Hyatt Regency Hotel here in Schaumburg. It's a 2024 Star Wars Armada World Championship at Adepticon. Hello, everyone. I'm Ken, and along with me, once again, the Lord of the Sith, Master of the Empire, Adrian. And then uh, we have uh, uh, John Thompson and uh, Garrett Vance are hanging out somewhere here uh, to help us out with all the information passing along from the tables to us. Uh, Garrett is uh, currently in the Force Temple practicing his lightsaber skills <laughs> uh, in case he needs to cut someone down on the top table. Just kidding. So this is, I believe, table four. Um, so uh, we have a fun matchup for you today. It's both your favorites here, Adrian. Empire lists. Double Empire. Lots of triangles on the table. Lots of carnage to be had. I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, we are intending on having a little bit of fun. We're going to go through the lists, but let's tell you guys who's playing. So, uh, here on table four, we have Andy Grabber, who has got a, uh, I believe it's a Thrawn list? It's an Ozzo list. Uh, and it, it is an awful list. And our uh, our other list. Uh, Hello. Thank you for saying that. Can you hear me now? Did uh, ah okay. Adrian's Can back. Can you hear he, me now? I uh, we're we're gonna we have a ten second delay here. Did so all of my terrible jokes just go into the ether? They may have, and they were Gosh. good jokes too. That's all right. They were probably the best jokes I've ever told ever. <laughs> And we're not going to repeat them for Only you for Ken's ears. Uh, Mac is first player. So the second player is uh, well known as Mac. <laughs> so uh, you will probably hear him throughout the course of today's game. Uh, you know, this is a great idea. We should do a, uh, a uh, Mac check as opposed to a, a mic check. Oh, Can man. Can we hear Mac? I, I don't know. Probably In not. In my ears, probably we, not, which is a good thing. We might get lucky here. We're going to find out. Uh, but we do have two good lists uh, yep. today. And in the chat, they said uh, they don't want to hear me talk about Empire, but unfortunately, that's going to be impossible because both lists, they're <laughs> Empire. So uh, we're going to be talking about them at length. We, we ad are. Ad nauseum. And that's a good thing. Uh, so uh, we're adjusting our, our volumes here accordingly. We should be. I think both here. We had, a, had to pretty much jump right into round two, so we had very little time to do our uh, quick mic check that we usually do uh, to balance sounds and whatnot. So keep us posted as how we sound, what we think, or, or not what we think. <laughs> uh, Tell us what we think. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go through these lists. We're going to talk about the players. Uh, give me a second here while we pull up both lists here. Uh, and then that way we can do this. Uh, so, uh, Andy is playing an Ozilist. He is. We're playing superior positions. Oof. Seen that a couple times. That's one of my favorites. So, have people choose. Do, do you want to talk about Andy's imperial list here? I would love to talk about Andy's Imperial List. So, All right. Uh, so one of the uh, biggest bang for the buck, Admiral Ozzel. I mean, 20 points, and he is just effective all the way around. So we've got an ISD-2 uh, with Ozzel on there, Captain Nita, flight controllers, expanded hangar bays, ECM, point defense ion cannons, and link turbo laser towers. It's kitted out for defense and for the squads. Uh, I mean, with point defense ion and ECM, it's going to get a lot of uh, defensibility. Uh, LTT gives it that little bang for its buck against maybe some squads, perhaps. Maybe. Uh, yes, and then flight controllers and expanded hangar bay. Uh, there's the carrier. Uh, we've got uh, the Gladiator 1, uh, as per the usual arrangement, with Demolisher, x rex Ordnance Experts, and Skilled First Officer. Uh, and then... We'll continue down his list here. It looks like he's got a Gazanti with Hondo, everybody's friend, Comsnet, and Reserve Hangar Deck. And now the Squad Ball. Darth Vader TIE Defender. Amazing, amazing rogue. Merrick Stell, Colonel Jenden, Mauler Mythel, Saber Squadron, two generic TIE Interceptors, and a generic TIE Bomber. Uh, it's a really varied squad ball with a lot of flexibility depending on what he wants to do with it. Uh, whether it's anti-squad or anti-ship, he's got the capability to do both. Uh, so, yeah, 
devastating. It, it's going to be fun. So now let's uh, let's take a look at um, Andy's list. Or that was Andy's list. Let's take a look at Mac's list. So uh, we have an Imperial 2 uh, Star Destroyer. Almost said a Super Star Destroyer. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. No, we have an Imperial 2. That would two be a very different list. Imperial 2 Star Destroyer with Grand Admiral Thrawn. Captain Brunson. Uh, so we're going to look to try and get rid of a little bit of damage. Flight controllers. Expanded hangar bay. Early warning system, so some defensive capability in tech here. Spinal armament, we're going to throw in some extra dice out the front. Uh, and the 7th Fleet Star Destroyer title, we have not seen that on stream yet, but, I mean, it's kind of neat because we've got the opportunity uh, to, to play with some, some fun titles. Second ship is a Gladiator 1 with our favorite pirate, Hondo Onaka. He seems to be everywhere, doesn't he? He is everywhere. Constantly looking for that treasure. Uh, projection experts and, again, 7th Fleet Star Destroyer. Also, Ken, just throwing this out there, this will be the first time I have seen Gladiator fielded in a very long time without the without Demolisher, the demolisher title. title. It is there for the projection experts because it's got decent engineering for a small base and that 7th Fleet title on it because it is a Star Destroyer. Right, it is. And that's that's one of those things that people don't always uh, clue in on mm -hmm. is that you can leverage that because it is a uh, Star Destroyer. Correct. So let's take a look at this squadron ball. Now, I'm already excited because <laughs> we've got Morna Key in a Decimator. And as most people know, my favorite Imperial Squadron is a Decimator. Uh, Darth Vader in the TIE Defender, excellent choice. Merrick Steele also in a TIE Defender and Colonel Jendon in a Lambda. Now this is a, one of the uh, newer, uh, there's also five generic TIE Fighter squadrons. Yep. So uh, ignoring the fact, this is actually almost a perfect complement in terms of squadron levels for the ISD and the Gladiator. They're clearly the defenders came in on their own hyperspace. Well, I, you know, I think the difference between the squad balls here, besides a lot of generic TIE Fighters, is uh, Morna Key's addition uh, I think makes it really tough to fit another uh, Gazanti in there. So we're looking at two ship plus yeah. a big squad ball. Both, uh, we've got the ISD here and the Gladiator are moving at speed two. Again, we're playing superior positions here. So uh, Max deploying everything. Max has yep. to deploy everything up front. Uh, what I like about this is you've got Darth Vader and Merrick joined in with Colonel Jendon, which means Jendon gives you the opportunity to choose between which one you want to take that mm -hmm. double strike with. If you want it to be Merrick to uh, take out some squadrons or do some heavy damage on, on something you can't, and then you've got Darth Vader with those two red dice, which yep. can be... Swing for the fences, but with adept, you actually uh, you get a little bit more use out of them. Yep, and it won't come. In, I don't think it'll come into play so much here as as when you're uh, fighting against a wings or something like that, or or you know a lot of interceptors. But uh, you can always gend in Morna if you need to finish someone off because uh, Morna's hull can actually uh, deal with counter a little bit better. So Jendon's right. just super, super flexible. Now, while we're getting set up here, uh, waiting for superior positions to uh, get completely put up, I want to go over the tournament die uh, here. So we're one round in. Uh, again, this is day three, eight players. So uh, uh, Peter's leading here with eight points. Yep. Uh, with uh, Christopher Fritz, we saw him yesterday, I believe yep. at the end here. Uh, he's currently at seven. Montana and Nicholas are at six each. Uh, Jackson and David at five. We just saw mm -hmm. David on, on uh, the stream along yep. with Nick. Uh, and then Andy and uh, Mac are at four and five, or four and three respectively. Right. But this is still anyone's game because there's only a five point spread. Exactly. And you know, uh, it's really interesting that we've got this table. It should be a very interesting match and exciting for people to watch because these guys are going to want to win big. If they right. can win big, they are in the hunt. So these are not going to be the guys who want to, let's coast, let's play conservative, let's preserve our points. you got to swing. Right. And, and that's part of the reason we wanted to have this game on, on, on here is because we want to see someone that's going to go for that 10-1. That's right. That's right. Well, I can tell you right now, uh, this will be real hard for either of these players to eke out a 10-1 against the other, but, but uh, if not just the level of play, but with the fleets matching oh, so well. I, I mean, I, I agree. So th this is just going to be a fun matchup. This ISD currently is coming in at speed two. I think we're going to see mm -hmm. engagement in, in turn two here. Absolutely. Uh, but what I'm liking about this is, again, if you can go, you're going to be trying to get a 10-1. Mm -hmm. You're probably not going to get it. But like you said, if you can get into the eight range... 
uh, the Xanti moving it to hiding there in the corner. There's yeah, that you gladiator. Know, well, honestly, you know, I, I, th I really think that now that uh, Mac is all set up, we're going to see a lot of speed two set up from Andy. Reason being, it's Ozzel. Ozzel right. can then be flexible with one or three uh, right. off the bat, or just stay right where you're at. Ozzel is so flexible in the movement. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm just wondering if um, speed two, if if, uh, if uh, you know, Thrawn's dials uh, are going to be squads. Or if they're going to be a little more flexible, like navs and engineerings, because well, then he's gonna he's gonna squadron the whole time. Uh, you know? And that's kind of the thing here is you would you could you, actually that's not a bad point. Uh, if you want to deal with your maneuverability with Thrawn, maybe throwing mm -hmm. an engineering there for potential repair later. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good way to go about doing it. Uh, but you're right. Um, you're, you're Thrawn. You're going to be activating those squads. You want to push them. You want to get those Tie Fighters where you can uh, potentially do something with that opposing squadron ball. And this is in oh, not quite a mirror match, but it's close to it. And I think the biggest difference is going to be the decision of having more in a key as opposed to having that Gazanti. Right. And I think it's going to come down to some activations to here. Having that go Gozer will help them a little bit. Um, yeah. So just for clarity. Uh, the camera is making it a little difficult to tell, but uh, Max Fleet uh, is up at the top. Uh, I don't know if on camera you can tell it's a little more tan uh, on the Star Destroyer and Gladiator. His his ships are painted a different color uh, up at the top. That's Mac, and on the bottom, Andy's ships are the standard Imperial gray that uh, that comes in the box. There's a slightly different view, and you can yep. see there's you more of this the reddish. There's a tint yep. there. That is not the camera. That is 100% his, his ship. Yep. So, um, yeah, don't uh, uh, don't underestimate the power of paint. Yep. Uh, so, again, this uh, falls into something that I was speaking with um, uh, Dallas Kemp on yesterday mm -hmm. on how people like to paint their squadrons, their yep. ships, and everything else to provide a different view of of the game so while john is out on the field uh, adjusting some of the cameras to give us some better views here and we're going to do that probably round around mm -hmm. uh so that if we do have an opportunity to pick up more of the battle less of the battle or a more interesting part we're going to do yep. that we will so things that you're not seeing on the stream that i can just attest to from being out there at the table uh you know john's real good at getting out there and adjusting the camera angle so you can see because we we don't know where these guys are going to fly and right. you know getting getting the best angles for you is we're really trying. Mm -hmm. No, most definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, we got players smiling. We just had the handshake, so yep. uh, uh, here we go. We've got the ISD activating first, Great. and away we go. I yep. think he said squadron. So no, no Honda or th uh, or, or Thrawn uh, right now. All right. Okay. E um, e EWS early warning system is going to be on the front arc. No Thrawn dial. Stand by. We're picking up uh, yep. some tokens here. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes sense to put EWS up front. Not like he's going to get uh, hammered right away, but you know what? On a Star Destroyer, <laughs> EWS is the default arc. It's the biggest arc. Just put it on up there right away. I, I agree. Get it out there so mm -hmm. that you can remember. I think, uh, so one thing of note, uh, early warning system happens at the beginning of, of the ship phase. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you choose one of the hall zones and you... Uh, put your chaff token out there, removes right. that one die. Uh, that is removed at the end of the, uh, of the status phase. Well, actually, after right. the status phase, Correct. technically. Yep, you do it each round. And, you know, uh, it, it, we saw this in the last game, the first game of the day. Uh, there was an early warning system. So, uh, you know, it was properly done each and every time. You take it off, and then you put it back on. Yep. And that Star Destroyer is cruising on in. <laughs> Gazanti <laughs> activating, I think. I think that was a nav, maybe? I actually don't know what the command was on the Gazanti. We'll find out. Uh, engineering. engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, engineering. Uh, and was that passed to the ISD? It was comms netted over to the ISD. As per the standard Imperial handbook all right so these guys are cooking so we've got the gladiator on the top activating with a nav token taken and he's moving on out he ran over one squad which is placed at the rear and moving on to next 
Uh, yes, this most definitely is going to be a slugfest. We're going to s I mean, anytime you have an ISD and some mm -hmm. gladiators on the the table, you're going to see that gladiator oh. on Andy's side shows Come constant fire. fire. But yeah, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a slugfest. We're going to see dice rolling. We're going to see a lot of dice rolling. Well, anytime you've got four star destroyers on the table and one flotilla <laughs> with a bunch of, with a bunch of squads to mop up, yeah, yeah. and mean yep. ones too. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move. steal a phrase from Jack uh, Handy. Hosling up to three. Ooh, okay. Well, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna steal a, a phrase from Jack Handy. This battle is gonna be just like a ballet, only there are no dancers, no music, and the ballerinas fire turbo lasers at each other. <laughs> <laughs> so would that mean then, Adrian, that perhaps the music is just full of pew pews? No music. Well, it could pew pews could be sweet, sweet laser music uh, <laughs> for for all the baddies on on the bridges. But you know, that's correct. This 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 matchup I think is going to be as close to a typical friendly game as you can get, but with much bigger stakes. I mean, when you play <laughs> a friendly game, you you do. I'm, I'm looking at the chat. And nothing beats rolling a handful of dice, Matthew. Yeah. Absolutely. You are absolutely correct. You want to just get together with your friends, roll a bunch of dice, and see what blows up. This uh, will be the same kind of uh, dice rolling theme, but with big sticks. Uh, very big sticks. Uh, you know, when you look at the Star Destroyers that we have, there's an ISD-2. And the right there, you're starting with four reds, four blues out the front. And that that's a powerful roll. Yeah, well, I, and ECM on this one, so it's going to be ECM versus EWS too. So let's see right. what let let's see let's see who the final winner is. Uh, personally, ECM is kind of my go-to. Okay, I prefer ECM. You get to I leverage the ability to hit right. that brace, which is always a plus. Mm -hmm. Now, here's one thing that uh, I'm looking at also yeah. when you're looking at uh, Max ISD. Yes, mm -hmm. EWS, but you also have Spinal. Yep. And so now you're rolling five reds mm -hmm. and four blues, so it's a little bit harder of a hit. Uh, right. than, than well, the other one. Well, and it's it's taking damage uh, off in small increments. So he's right. got EWS, then it's obstructed. Seventh Fleet, that takes the damage off just with exhausting this card on the Gladiator. Right. And he's got point defense. I mean, yes, please. And Brunson, if he's near those obstacles. Right. So, I mean, you can reduce that damage by a lot. So, yeah, we have the ability to reduce some damage. Uh, I'm getting curious to see how much Seventh Fleet gets used. Uh, looks like we're out of range here, so uh, still well, a lot of work to go. But with that Star Destroyer bearing down on him, I think uh, Seventh Fleet's going to be used a lot. Well, the the trick is going to be keeping within range four of each other. That's yeah. the that's the the key to Seventh Fleet is making sure that um, you are at distance four or closer. Right. Is it an heir to the Empire matchup? <laughs> Thrawn versus Ozzel. Yes. Uh, Perfect. Sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, I'm down. I'm down with that that analogy. Talking about music, no real spoilers here. <laughs> All right. We're doing so. our best not to spoil much of anything. Of yeah. course, you're catching this only 10 seconds after we get it. So I guess, in a way, we are providing spoilers. That's true. I mean, 10, ten seconds, what's... I mean, what a terrible lag time. <laughs> yeah, the, the one advantage we do have with that 10-second delay is that if a die gets bumped, we can very quickly uh, <laughs> let the players know when they, they jump up, look at us, and say, uh, what, what was that? That's we right. actually can look and know. And, you know, actually, this happened in the first game. Uh, it, the players do such a good job. I mean, honestly, it is it is a little wonkier to play on the top table. Right. They are surrounded by cameras. They're right. under the lights. They've got uh, a bunch of people moving around like uh, interns, you know, trying to, to uh, <laughs> catch everything that they're doing to convey to us. And uh, they've got us commenting on things. Well, they can't hear us, uh, but uh, you know they know that we're here. So and and there's always a crowd around the the uh, the cordon around the table right. watching their match. So a little more pressure, you know, all eyes on. So it's uh it, it's nice that they 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 put up with it. I'm gonna do a quick little shout out 
to uh, Ruby, who is my <laughs> new dog. Uh, my wife was kind enough to send shame. me send me a picture. She's watching the stream very intently, nice. uh, listening to the sweet voices and symphony that is Adrian and myself. Well, I think Ruby's hearing her father's voice, which is uh, which is you. Um, <laughs> so uh, she's probably wondering why you're not giving her treats. But um, yeah. Yeah, oh. she's a good armada player. <laughs> she's a very good armada. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to teach her how to play armada next. I will say mm -hmm. that my cat does know how to play armada, but he cheats. His tail will come in and shove his tie defenders closer into range. Well, you know, uh, if I'm uh, not doing well, I, I use my tail to just sweep the table. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm <laughs> being told she likes your voice too, Adrian. Oh, that's nice. So, Thank yeah. you, Sheila. All right, so um, it looks like this is just some squad maneuvering on yeah. this phase. Uh, this game is going to go, I think, pretty quick. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, with, I'm with inclined so to agree. Ships, uh, it, it may get a little more complicated once the squads engage, but um, I th think we're uh, I think we're going to see some fast action here. I yeah, I, I agree. I think turn one turn one usually is set up, uh, mm -hmm. and and you're going to oh. <laughs> Put yourself in the in the position where okay, here's where we are anticipating some level of engagement. Right, uh, and then I mean, actually, what this is starting to look like is uh, the ISD is going to go against the ISD, and the Gladiator is going to go against the Gladiator. And what I think is going to happen, this is my my current thing. We're going to have the squadron battle in the middle. The Glads are going to go at it, and whichever one goes down first. The opponent's going to come in and try and hit the side of the uh, the opposing ISD. And then the Gazanti's there for support. So really, again, this comes down to, I think, is it going to be the Gazanti or is it going to be Morna? Yeah, you know, um, I Mac with those flight controllers, he's looking for the Alpha. Mm -hmm. He's got the expanded hangar bays. He's, he's, he's wanting to throw. I mean, those extra blue dice make a big difference. And if you can gang up in an Alpha, that's the goal here. Right, right. And that's, I mean, this is Mac has the advantage being first player to be able to throw the first set of dice. Yep. Uh, but Andy does have Demolisher. Yep. Yep. So I, I don't know. This this is I this is I think going to be a really good game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but I, I agree it is going to go quick, fast, and it'll be over. Yep. I think a, another thing that that uh, Mac has to worry about is not having Demolisher on that Gladiator. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna really really need uh, well he's projection expert so he's he's there to just provide support but I would be really surprised if we didn't see demo swing around and try to get rid of that demo or the other gladiator just for the perfect uh, for the for the reason of not you know being able to repair mm. um, the ISD uh, and and getting those points I and, mean, and I, getting around it behind for the for the objective, yeah. And, and I was just going to say, you you bring up a good point here. Uh, the objective is superior positions, uh, so the the victory token is worth fifty points. And to get one, you have 15. to make an attack mm -hmm. against the rear hull zone. You get one damage. If, if the defender suffers a damage right. or more, you gain fifteen points. And that's suffer, not the scatter. So the gozer Correct. is typically not the best target right off the bat because if the scatter removes all the dice from the pool, no point. Right. Uh, but all the other ships, fair game, and and there are plenty of rogues around to to you know fly to the back of a ship that can move far. Vader, right. prime example. D I completely agree. So I mean, I, I I think I think we might be seeing victory tokens pop up. I mm -hmm. think we're going to see, uh, like you said, bucket rolls of dice. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, ooh, here comes some here comes some here comes some squad action. I think Vader is that Vader coming in. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to move up to the overhead just to get I a think, little bit I think Mac view. is throwing a, a squad in. It might be Vader on a unique. Let's see what happens here. Trying to draw first blood, maybe? Let's see. Let's see if John can, can confirm. Is that is that uh, Max Vader squadron? It is. He's got the big V on it. Yep, he's going to try to get a, a unique out of the way. And he's got some choices here. He really does. And Vader's maneuverable enough at speed 5 with those TIE defenders uh, that it could be almost anyone's uh, anywhere on mm -hmm. the field there. So let's see who he's going to go after. He's going to go after... He, there, there's dice being gathered. So uh, let's see. Against dice. steel. Let's see dice. <laughs> We're going to bring right. this up nice Vers and large for you guys. Versus Merrick Stell. All right. Merrick Stell. Oh, my goodness Look gracious. Look at that. 
Holy uh, cow. We're going to see an adapt. Five. We're going to see an adapt here. Here's the adapt. We're going to see an adapt. Does he do the blue? Oh, no, nope, he doesn't. Six damage. So he's going to brace that to three. Six brace to three. Yep. So Merrick Stell on three hull. Man, that was a that was a big shot from Vader. That was a huge shot from Vader. And first blood has been See, drawn. Uh, now, if it had been me, just saying, mm. might have thrown that blue with the adept because Vader, everything counts there. And if you could block, well, you know, maybe not because uh, Merrick Stell's got two braces. Yeah, Never so mind. it wouldn't matter. Wow. And <laughs> Uh, here we go, jumping yep. right into turn two. Turn two. So let's see what goes on here. Let's see what goes on here. <laughs> We're getting a judge yep. call on official time. We're a about 28 call. minutes in. Yeah, you know, and going into round two, I, it's it's going to heat up here. We're, they're they're going to be going back and forth. So let's see what... Let's see what we have. Setting dials. We can show because we have one. We have the gladiators right now are hidden by the massive size of the ISDs. We are about 11 o'clock in the morning here in the Chicagoland area. Still overcast. Kind of a beautiful normal day here in Chicago. You mean overcast? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that's pretty much right. <laughs> I kind of like it. I'm kind of a pluviophile, so I like my rain. <laughs> So, uh, just another quick comment. So we've we've got them uh, carefully considering dials and uh, uh, getting ready to start round two. Uh, in the uh, in the side spaces to the side of the booth, we have every top table uh, here for the tournament. I mean, there are four of them, uh, but at the intensity on all of the competitors is like it's palpable. insane it, it really it, you can reach out and touch it from here um and you know we'll cover the the, the eight players once again we have andy and and, and mac here yep. on, on yep. our table and we just saw uh nick and david play against each other really good uh excellent game we have not yet seen uh jackson montana chris or peter and all of these are top Top players. Top when you're when you, when you get 120 of the top players in the world, cut to 36, and then cut to eight. Eight. And these are those guys. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I mean, the top 36. Uh, well, let me put it this way: the top 120. Congrats, and you're 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 what a top tier player. Yeah. The, the top third of those guys, and then the top eight. I mean, crazy. No, I agree. I mean, just being here yep. is is. Uh, a a victory of in and of itself, and and I and I love the fact that you get here by conquest. Yes, you don't get here just because you paid for a ticket. You get here for conquest, and that means that you know everyone is worthy. So we're sitting here watching. Uh, yep, a couple discussions here. So Making we've got decisions. we've got these phase these phases. So no Hondo, and uh, we're going to reveal a dial. Mac at the top. Okay, real. I quick. have a feeling we're going to see a Thrawn here. I, I think so. I think that that decision is being made right here. Yep. And um, my guess is going to be Nav and, and Squad in one permutation or another. So let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, Hondo, oh, Hondo. did get used. Okay. Glad so gets a, uh, a, uh, uh, a engineering, nav? and then the ISD gets a squadron. Oh, engineering. Yep. Okay. Other side, we've got a nav to the Glad and a confire to the Gazanti. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to see some squad engagement right here. All right. All right. So. All right. Uh, uh, so Thrawn is a squad dial, as I m mentioned, and it looks like it's a nav dial. All right. See, see yeah. right, I'm holding true. We holding three true. hits. That's a. Right. Yep. Believe a swarm. I'm not exactly sure. I think it was Morna, maybe. No, nope, someone's scattering. So it was. It was a shot into. Shot into someone with a scatter. Oh, Tie Fighter into Mauler. Uh, tie okay. Fighter into Mauler. Any scatter. scatter. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. And don't forget, we've got some flight controllers here, so the fists full of dice. Ooh, that's that's big, big hit. Three. Yeah. Okay, we're repeating that yep. with with Jenden, I believe, or okay. no, another Tie Fighter. Oh, and uh, that's an accuracy, it. so no scatter. So he'll yep. probably brace that to two. Ooh, yeah. he's close. 
Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, let's see what the next squad is. Yep, so block the scatter. All right, so here we go again. Here come the generic ties doing the damage with flight controllers. So those TIE fighters with flight controllers, yeah, man. A lot of extra dice there, Adrian. Yeah. Because, well, well, flight controllers in general, it's just... a blue. Yeah. And and with the with activating these five TIE fighters, um, they're all going to be throwing four, so we're going to see 20 blue dice coming into his squads. That's yep. going to soften them up big time. I mean, Mauler's already on one hall left. Right. Merrick's on three. So, I mean, we're going to see some carnage here. Uh, and to lose some of these key squadrons. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Uh, is is so going to be here. Here we go. Another roll from a TIE fighter. All, All right. Like swarm roll. Only All right, two. two. It's okay. He's going to scatter it. Scattered away. Yep, scatter it. But that, that blows his scatter. I think you're right. So, now careful consideration. I believe he's got two more ties to come. And or, now, or see, other this, squads. This is this is a, a tactic you don't see very often when you start throwing just generic TIE fighters because mm -hmm. they go away real fast when you shoot at them. But when you tack in something like flight controllers, and if you were to do something like Howl Runner along mm -hmm. with it, where you can add yet another die, I mean, you can get TIE fighters Classic. to shoot five blue dice. Um, in this case, we're only yep. doing four, but still, that is a lot. Yep, and I'm I'm trying to see with this deployment. It doesn't look like he's keeping the TIE fighters too far back. Oh, but no. I think. Oh, wait. I think he's looking to move in Morna. Oh, no. Nope, no. Nope, it's something different. Yeah, you grabbed the wrong one. Yep. All right. Here's. All right. Here this is, is Steel Mer into a TIE Merrick fighter. Merrick Stell into a TIE fighter. Or a TIE fighter into Stell. Oh, probably an interceptor. So Andy has tie interceptors. Yep. Mac has tie oh, fighters. Okay, so he's going to an interceptor. Got it. At least that's what we think we're doing. We're questioning it. It's going back and forth. There's some table talk. Yep. Clarifying, clarifying the dials here. Okay, Merrick Stell into tie interceptor, and here it comes. So that's going to be three blue, two black. Woof. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that, oh, is oh, that, that is a dead well, tie. Well, there's going to be counter two, but. Right, but still. 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 Dead tie interceptor. Yep. Yep, that is out. He's removing the ability. Oh, reserve hangar decks just blown, so that tie interceptor comes back on two health and activated. Uh, reserve hangar decks. Yep. Yep, and the exact wording of reserve hangar decks is it comes back at one. So still no score here in the second round. But there's lots of shooting, so it's going to oh, be... Oh, there, there's a lot more to go. Yep, yep. <laughs> Just run a straw to the Keurig. <laughs> Who says I haven't, Daniel? mm, -mm. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, thank you to the Armada community for supporting what we do here. And, uh oh. And, uh, we're, we're Jendon's coming in hot. And it's telling Merrick to do it all again. And he's shooting Mauler. Ooh, three blue, two black. Um, you know what? Uh, actually, I don't believe he gets flight controllers on this one, right? I oh, wait. Is this correct? Who Who shot? This is Jendon. Uh, it has Vader, oh, Vader shooting at I'm sorry, I thought it was Merrick. It was Vader. Yep, and that got Mauler. Yep. That makes sense. Going after an ace with Vader right. makes perfect sense. Oh, I'm sorry. We're getting some clarification. Uh, did he not shoot Mauler, and did he shoot uh, Stell? So, uh, sportsmanship oh, no, the, here, yep. forgetting a, a previous counter. Yep. Uh, and so, Mac is counter was nothing. 
Uh, Got to hand it to Mac for giving uh, yep. Andy an opportunity to do something. Uh, there's, there's, there's one. Honestly, so. that's that's just the sportsmanship you see in the community. I mean, I know you know, people tend to take it for granted, but I mean, man, you know, a- anyone in was well within their rights. It's past that step. You forget it. You move on. Very and much you know so. what? It. Yeah. You know, just he said, hey, no, you didn't counter. Vader counter to me. steal. Here's Vader to steal. One, two, three, four. Yep. Adept. Oh, adept two. Ouch. That looks like five to me. Five. That'll probably be a lock out three. Nope. No locking. Oh, oh yeah, because he was only at three. So five to and three. And Andy five. loses steel. Yep. Rack, <laughs> racking up points. The first points are now scored. All right. And Vader moves back. Oh, smart. This is this is definitively uh, thoughtful play uh, on uh, has on to Mac's be at part. this level. Uh, understanding how his fleet works. Yep. And now here's the move. Oh, a little jog, a little one, a little gonna, bit of a slice there. Actually, that'd be a hook in golf. Would terms. it be? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be. You know, I think Andy has a slight advantage about getting to the station. But uh, there, it might be a battle of the station. I mean, honestly, if I, I, I may consider you know at this, uh, you know, turning the star destroyer onto the station and parking there, or just ramming to stay. Right. You, you don't get the cars, and he doesn't get the ability to heal anything. Right. You know, just kind of take that out of play, and put it into your advantage. I agree. That's there, right. There, that I, I, if I was Andy, that's what I would be. And, to, and to be perfectly honest, uh, you know, Max Star Destroyer is going to have EWS on that front arc anyway. So, you're, if you're going over the station obstructing yourself, you're already obstructed. Yeah. All right, so let's see what happens. Max considering his options carefully. Yeah, he's considering the angle here. Um, I Mac... I uh, Mac is talking out loud here, considering his options, saying that he's thinking about going for a 10-1 win, but not sure he can quite do it. So that's gonna. Well, we mentioned that before. You know, it's it's it's, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, as I'm sure you can hear, he can hear us as a little bit too. So we'll we'll talk a little quieter. But you know what? Uh, I can tell you, having someone with a loud voice at the table is kind of a boon because we can hear everything I, that he's doing it and it's easier to relay. <laughs> you know what it really it makes John's job a little simpler That's because right. you know he only needs to let us know what Andy's doing. That's right. Uh Andy's definitely a little bit more quiet, more right. uh, more uh, uh reserved. Mac telegraphing everything to us. And yes. again, uh, him <laughs> hearing uh what we're saying and then it going into his head and he's laughing about it. Mm-hmm. So uh All right. So he's going to have some assistance from Andy. Place it. So, oh, he went to one. He didn't turn in. No. Interesting. You know, he may be angling for a double arc here. Yeah. All right. Judge called to All right. talk about. Judge uh, coming in to check if he hit the obstacle. So it's it's going to be rough. I'm. So I wouldn't be surprised if he puts the mo- takes the model off. There's some paper being used to shield the light. <laughs> Do we need see. another judge? Yeah. Yeah. No, so well, well both judges. Dennis and Lewis are out there. Uh, Dennis and Lewis are with two judges Anyone? making this call. And and the call is not not, a, not, not on over. the uh, obstacle. Very all right. Well. You know, uh, shout out to all four of our judges here. We've got uh, Lark and Dennis and uh, Fox and Alan all doing yep. a remarkable job making all these tough calls. Yep. And, you know, th- they're under probably more pressure than the players because you want to make the right call. And, you know, if you're if you're a judge and you're looking at these things, you don't want to try and show any level of favoritism and you want to be sure about your call. Nor do they. You know, honestly, these judges are, are just uh, so uh, invested 
in seeing the best competition. Yes. I don't think they could give two cares wh who is winning and who isn't. They just want the best matchups. And if you happen to win at the end of it, they're they're excited for you. Right. And and not only are they running this, they're running some of the other events the that team are going tournaments on the well. team tournaments and everything. So I mean, there's a lot going on. Yeah, they're 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 busting their. So their, ISD their shows squadrons. We've got yep. an attack here. Here we go. Uh, this is into steel. Yep. Uh, from I believe the Thai bomber. Bomber. Yep. yep. And flight controllers adds that extra blue. Right. All right. And let's see who else he moves. So he'll be able to activate everything on the table. Let's see. I think so. Let's yeah, see how uh, Andy this plays out. He's got Andy's a got an expanded hangar bays. ISD yeah. is mm -hmm. squadron four. Yes, so it's mm -hmm. five squadrons he gets to activate. Yep. So let's see. Let's see what he can kind of get revenge for here. All right, so it sounds to me like there's going to be a shot at Colonel Jenden. Yes. Uh, so Vader into Jenden. This this could hurt, but Jenden's got six hull. He does have so six hull. So, I mean, unless you're locking out both those braces, I don't know. Oh, there's two, three. Rerolling these two with Adept. Uh, did that last bottom uh, one come? That looks uh, like a blank. It looks like a blank, too. It's hard so to see only on the dice So, three game. on Jenden. Yep. Brace that to yep, two. He'll brace it to one. Brace to one. So, uh, Jenden should now be at on three. Uh, Andy's side is now at four. Okay. Interceptor shooting at Merrick. Okay. Interceptor into Merrick. And that's Whoa, a lot geez. of dice. Very accurate. Couple of crits. Yeah, We're going to no swarm hits, this. Really? No. Another accuracy. Hits. That is. Oh. oh. You know, there was a comment earlier in the chat about it might come down to dice rolls, and uh, at least for that particular attack, it sure did. Yeah. Whoa. No, not a good start yeah, at not, all. Not uh, wonderful. Dias Legion. So but there's still plenty going on plenty, here. Plenty happening here. Yeah. So we're gonna, um, we're getting some measuring now. I have to carefully consider. And, and you know, speaking as someone who has done a few Sloanless uh, in my day, if you roll a couple kind of subpar rolls right off the bat, it does make a big difference about how you play your next squads. You don't want to put them in danger <laughs> if you're not gonna kill what you started shooting at. I mean, it's uh. It's it's some some hull management here. All right, so Jenden is going to have Vader go after Jenden again. So here's the roll, another try for Vader, courtesy of Colonel Jenden. That well, looks like. Okay. Well, if he gets Three. another brace, that but he can't because it's a black. So, uh, adapt. Adapt both. Just, let's just do some damage. We can get another, I think, two. Oh, uh, there's Jiminy four. So it's only going to brace down to two, which yep, keeps two. Uh, Jenden going. Yep. Jenden now so Jenden at two. two hull. Saber Squadron is going to come in. And let's see if Saber can uh, make up some ground here. This should be five blue dice. And let's see who he is attacks. We're right, we're gonna we're gonna snipe some stuff here in a second. We've got this great view here of this uh, squadron yep. battle. We'd actually see what I like about this, Adrian. <laughs> this is so nice in terms of being able to see these models. Yep. So again, uh, trying to see this. If you were here, you're not going to get this kind of view. This camera angle is literally three feet away, two and a half feet away. If that, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, unless you were. Uh, uh, looking at a body cam on a player. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas for next time? Ideas for next year? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so we're going to see uh, a saber snipe here in a second. Carefully placing him. And you know what? It looks like that might be obstructed. Saber going into Jenden. All right. But it could be obstructed, so 
We're going to find out here in a second. We'll see how see many dice he rolls. Dice rolled. If there's four of them, and there are four. He's taking uh, obstructed shot. Very accurate. He's taking one. Swarm. Swarming into oh nothing. Oh, my goodness. goodness. All right. All right. So he finally gets him. That's both to take yeah. Jendon out. And, you know, uh, interesting that he's just touching that station. Man. So two squadrons gone. Yep. Jendon on Mac side. Yep, and uh, we'll uh, see who's America coming on, next. On, on, uh, on, a, uh, on a, uh, Randy. All right, and I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to send an interceptor against a TIE fighter. That's a good question. Because those TIE fighters are just devastating with flight controllers. You know, maybe taking some of those out might be good if they're... Oh, okay. So we're flacking? Yeah, blue yep. is flak. So side, side versus the TIE fighter? Flak out. LTTs. LTTs. There That's it goes. Enough. That's enough. From five to four. Yep. Hey, you know what? Any little bit helps. That saves four dice coming at your squad ball. Right. And, you know, as, as we've been seeing the yep. entire... And now we're going to flack the front. Yep. All right, let's see what we got. Can so LTT on this one, too? Oh. No. Mm. We're thinking about it. We're uh, thinking about thinking about it. Things out. We'll see. Concentrate fire on this yep. one. All right. Okay. Now so he'll probably LTT, hit. right? No. Oh he's no. going to continue to flack everything. Okay. All right. All right. So more damage for TIE Fighters. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Uh, nothing oh, there. Man, his dice are not cooperating they for Andy not. today. Uh, At all. My nothing. goodness gracious. Out of the table. Yep, for sure. So there right, we go. Nothing, nothing again. Yeah, nothing, man. It's crazy. <laughs> you know, you hate to see things like this where the dice yep. uh, start telling the story, but sometimes right. it's all you can do. Yep, for sure. All right, let's see what we got more. <laughs> All right, so more measuring. All right, let's see where he goes. Uh, okay, so he's looks like he's going to get onto the station, but he's going to angle. Yeah, he'll just kiss the station, I think. That'll yeah, give I him a so. little bit of room to get behind that Star Destroyer if he needs to. Yeah, if Mac moves forward, he's kind of lining himself up for a rear shot. And at the same time, keeping his rear away from them. So trying to, you know, keep in mind that objective. Right. Because that's, that's something you don't want to do is is just expose uh, the not rear arc. Just to, yeah. Not with this objective, that's no, for sure. No, definitely not. You can add up points quick. At 15 points a token. Oof. Very quick. So, so right now, he's... Ooh, ooh. There's gonna be some. There's gonna be some decisions being made. Uh, Mac is gonna be moving that gladiator into the front. I don't. I don't know if he can get out of that front arc. Worth noting that that was an increase courtesy of Admiral Ozel. Yep. Uh, in this case, coming out a little too close to that station. Uh huh. <laughs> out of the front arc. Let's see. Okay. Uh, maybe this is the better view. I'm trying to yep. find the view here, uh, but we d we only have the front arc, I believe, from uh, Andy's ISD to Max. Where? It oh yeah, it's going to be double R for right now. But yeah. Um, uh, all right. So here comes the gladiator. The gladiator Showing has nav. a nav. All right. Uh, even it oh. taking as a dial. Yeah, of course. So he's going to activate squads because, hey, guess what? Thrawn. Yep. Thrawn showing his squadron dial, I should say. Yes, know. that's right. So all of the ships get to activate squads. So let's see uh, what those two do. So from the looks of it, it kind of seems that the squad alpha has kind of advantaged Mac. But in the ship fight, 
just from the deployment and where these ships are ending up, I gotta give the nod to Andy and where his ships are. So oh, look is, at these dice that is behaving for Mac. Three hits. Oof. Uh, for Mac, this has uh, got to be a squadron attack. That He's was invaded. Evade. We're rerolling one. Uh, that I believe. Yep. So they're they're uh, they're debating on uh, managing their uh, their uh, uh, defense tokens. I think uh, I, I think believe we're was still in round. This is round two. I this believe. is two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Round two. And uh, Mac is first. Yep. The objective is superior positions. All right, okay, that's gonna brace it. down to one. Yep. All right, so another squad is coming in to shoot at Vader, I think. Is that Vader? We're, we're getting confirmation here. Who is he shooting at, John? Vader. Yep, there's three. So he's burning the evade. Oh. He's going to take it. Oh, my goodness. So Vader's down to two hull. Doing our best here to try and find a good angle on that squadron battle. Unfortunately, yeah, the ISDs are blocking a lot of our good angles. Yep. As they are wont to do. They are big, chonky ships. They really are. Okay, we're going front to front, that gladiator. Yep. All right, so we're going to see what happens here. So they're, he's checking the distance because Nita has given that Star Destroyer an evade. So yep. he's going to look to see you know, what he's good. So are th we're going to see if they are, uh, if they're going to be in medium. No, but they're... Well, there was the... So, so he evades it. No damage. Thank no you, damage, Captain right. Nita. See, you know, and that's interesting that uh, it's Ozil Admiral and Captain Nita mm -hmm. on that uh, Star Destroyer. The choked out Ozil and his choked successor all on the same Star Destroyer. It's a crazy so thought when I'm, you think about it. This, it? this is going to be a really interesting move. Let's see where this gladiator goes because uh, ISD2 is pretty rough. And then we still have demolish, we still have demolish her to, go. to go. So this is, this is going to be I think a bad news situation for that gladiator. <laughs> Waiting to see here what Mac opts to do yep. with his gladiator. Again, if you are in chat and want to get status update on something, let us know what it is that you're interested in hearing about. Yep. Gladly fill you in or task John with getting us the specifics. Right. Oh, he's going to turn in hard? Yeah, I wonder if he's going to... Yeah, you know the All right, so there is the shot, so let's see. And obviously with no Demolisher title on that top Gladiator, this move is going to be a move and then no shoots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Returning in. To yep, the it's going to be one of those lovely little drifts. Mac contemplating his options here. Everything yep. from... Uh, Speed zero to speed. I mean, three he's he's first player, so if he if he moves really fast around the side, mm -hmm. he'll only have to worry about that gladiator shot, mm -hmm. two shots, because then he might be able to get by, or he might be thinking that by moving that way, because you know, as first player he can move then out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now the danger of that is he may swing too wide to get to the back of the star destroyer, the demolisher. I don't know, there's lots, lots of variables right now. So. Let's see, do you really want to expose your rear if you're going to no. deal with superior position? No, no but he, he just didn't. No, so he he's, just keeping, he's keeping his front facing and so I that I think Demolisher will be really hard-pressed to get to his rear. I, I believe you now have it's Mac good. committing to trying to take down Andy's ISD. I think that's right. So so we're going to see we're going to see a red shot if they're in range. And if they are not in range, then he's going to move in I as think far as he can. Out. You think they're just in? 
Let's see what the dial is on the demolisher. I mean, those gladiators can only go speed three. Right. So I'm, I'm not sure what the dial is on that demolisher, but we'll see here in a second. I'm not sure that it's been actually, oh, it's a it's, nav. It is nav, okay. Just revealed. Well, he'll be, I, I, I would be really surprised if he didn't uh, immediately do like the, use the that speed three shot. and double click. Oh, is he going to try to get it between there's them? there's no shot. Okay, so he's no going to have the front. move first to before he can do that. Well, hopefully he'll be in close. We'll see. Look at this. Uh, uh, trying to get in that side uh, four black shot. Yep, he's going to try. Oh, boy, that's very interesting. All right. All right, so side to side. With demo. Yep, and let's see what we got. So here, he's going to be gathering up those four black dice. We do have ordnance and experts. And he's got X-Racks. And X-Racks. So, so this, let's see could what be, this could be interesting, folks. Let's see. Here we go. little table talk. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. First, okay, that's six that's is not that a bad start. Th six is not a bad number. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know if he would have remembered the X-Racks if it, uh, Mac hadn't said something. Yep, but Mac, let's again, sports All right. nothing. Yep. three. Oh, that's uh, nine. That, that is nine. 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 Uh, so <laughs> so if, uh, if he... Huh. Is he going to ordinance expert? He does have ordinance experts. Now, here's a question. If this is your role, do you use ordinance experts to try and Absolutely get to not. 11? Absolutely uh, not. That's my, Me personally, I leave it. Yep, take five and then uh, live another We're going to ordinance experts. We're yep, going we to gamble. Let's see. Uh, uh, stay the same. All right, so it's nine. So doubles being evaded. Yep. Pretty sure we're going to... To oh, nothing. To nothing. Well, good gamble. That. That's seven. Right. Brace. So he's gonna brace to four, four and then uh, and then redirect. Brace to three, redirecting. Right. Uh, he's gonna redirect. So there's two off the side, uh, yep. one off the rear. Yep. And I believe that's one internal. Mm. Uh, okay. No. Oh, I mean, yes. So yeah, yeah we're, we're seven to four. Yep. Shuffling up the cards. So let's see what the shield is. failure. Shield failure. So that one, I believe, takes two shields uh, off, I, or one shield off of two hall zones. Correct? I think that's correct. So it'll be two on the front and one on the side, and then zero on the side and rear, on the left side and rear. Yep. Yep. And then it flips the card face down. So, all right. So let's so see. So we're we're now down to two shields on the front of the gladiator yep. and one on the right with one hall damage. Yep. That's impressive. All right, and now we're going to go Gladiator to the is showing squadrons. And I bet those squadrons are going to come and say hello to that gladiator. Oh, I'm sorry, not the gladiator, the Gazanti. Yes, Gazanti says gladiator, uh, the squadrons go. Yep. Confire oh, is con sent over to the, to the uh, ISD. Yep, token. <laughs> and I guess the squadron dial is just discarded. Got it. Nothing in range, looks like. Right. Or they've been activated. That moved. I think now are we we into squadrons now? Okay, and he's going to ozzle the speed three and move on up. Now he's in range of some squadrons. Well, most definitely. All right, squad phase. Morna is uh, doing something. Let's see what that is. Going into Darth Vader. Morna key to Darth Vader. So let's see what this roll looks like. See if Max Rice is still hot. They are hot. Yep. Oh my goodness four, gracious. Four hits. Nope, three hits. Or three hits because yep. he's into Vader. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that takes, that takes uh, Vader out. out. Yep. That, and that was, was uh, huge. That was uh, more Nikita Darth Vader. Uh, Ma uh, An uh, Andy's Vader mm -hmm. that was removed, right? Correct. So, I mean, you've got both those TIE defenders on Andy's side eliminated, and we're going to go into round three. As we said, this is getting... This, this is good. moving along. We're about an hour uh, into the game.
<laughs> Thank you for all of your concern in the chat. Yes, yes. Uh, so, question uh, uh, being asked uh, is, uh, do you think it would have been uh, cooler and more thematic if Ozzel's commander Billy was something like obstacle effects or, <laughs> or doubled for each player? That would certainly <laughs> be thematic, that's for sure. Um, you know, I... <laughs> the players are taking a take pause to take a selfie. selfie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, definitely more thematic. Yeah, definitely for sure. Uh, uh, I like it. We want an update on the commentators from Bradley Stevens. Are we getting enough water slash caffeine? Um, There's never enough caffeine. I, I'm going to agree with you on that one. The so Sith Empire was built on caffeine. It, so it, it definitely was. <laughs> All right. So it looks like. Uh, Mac is first player is ready to go, and we're going to see a Thrawn dial, I'm guessing, and uh, then we'll figure out what he's activating. Uh, so the Thrawn dial, I believe I heard, is a squad. So Thrawn squad. Yep. So shocker, squads around. Squads for everybody. So almost almost what we were... No, this is what we were thinking, right? That Thrawn yep. would be a bunch of squads? Yeah. Yep, and then you guess... Well, I, I, I thought maybe that he would run squads on his uh, on his ISD, but you know what? Squads on Thrawn is just as good. And then yep. you can kind of be flexible with what, what you need engineering or nav. Or a confire, but or honestly, his squads are doing the yeoman's work right now. Yep, nav dial on the ISD. So... With his number of squads that he activates, he's gonna he's gonna reach out and touch some people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This might actually be like a second alpha. I think this is gonna be our best view for squadrons here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, maybe here. Yep. All right, Tie Fighter. Yep. So as you recall, he's got the flight controllers in place, so he's going to throw in some four die TIE fighters. A lot of bang for the points. Swarm. Uh, which and one? There's, there's two. 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 Um, and Saber is now down Saber to one. Saber is down to one. <laughs> All right, so here comes another TIE fighter. At Saber. Goodbye, Saber. Ooh, there goes Saber. <laughs> and no counter from Saber no. because he snipes. All right. Decisions, 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 decisions. All right. Measuring, measuring out the TIE fight distances that we can yep. get here. So this will be the third of five, correct? Uh, oh, and yes. he's moving in. Looks like Morna. It's interesting. Yeah, it's good. Moving in Morna. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, who is she? Okay, into an interceptor. Morna an interceptor. Oh, but she's just probably good because she's uh, going to re-roll with that ability. Oh, look there at it that. goes. Four Morna, there goes an interceptor. Yep, and counter. Two. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. One. <sighs> oh, but uh, but uh, uh, swarm. Yeah, swarm. Yeah. yeah. All right. So nothing. So yeah. just takes one. Morna is unconcerned with only one hull damage. Uh, against tie interceptors, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we got that tie bomber just yeah. hiding out there mm -hmm. in the end. Well, so we've got, I think, a Jendon left at 6, an Interceptor left at 3, and a TIE Bomber left at 5. So we'll see what his target is going to be. Here comes five, oh, sorry, 4 blue going after the, going after the TIE Bomber. Wait. Oh, there's some debate. Not the Bomber? Into Jen. Into Jen. Okay, here we go. Well, Jen. Oh my goodness Ooh, gracious! All right, well, four right there. Yeah, well, he's going to brace that for right. sure. Yeah, but can't take too many more of those. Jen now down to four. 
probably smart not using the ties after the interceptor because the counter can really hurt a generic oh, tie most fighter. Definitely, because you have a counter too. You get the swarm in there, and boom, gone. Yep. Uh, especially if you have a, even a damage of one. All right, let's see what he activates next. He's got plenty of choices. TIE Fighter into, is that Vader? No, or Vader's Merrick. dead. Uh, both of those are dead. Okay, so oh, his Vader. So, his Vader. So Max Vader is going to shoot at? Into an interceptor. An interceptor. That, that makes sense. Uh, That's going to that be... looks like a dead... <laughs> oh, oh, he lives on one. Lives on one. Vader's crits don't work on generics. Nope, not on generics. Nope. And counter? Counter two, There's one. one. Oh, swarm reroll? Nah, no, just one. Only one. Will, will he evade? Yep, there's the evade. Uh, nope. Uh, so nope. one on, he one had to try. on Max Vader. He had a 50-50 chance of getting a better I mean, result. Yeah, I mean, and you yeah, might as well sense. take it, right? Yeah, 100%. All right. Ah, ISD okay. is going to have a side shot here. At, oh, he's, my, he's, he's yeah, eyeing up that... The, Demolisher, eyeing it up. Yep. Okay. For one damage. It's going to be evaded. <laughs> and possible flak out the front? Maybe? Question mark? Maybe. Let's see if there's even anything there. Uh, nope. No. Nope. Nope. Now we're moving into... Yeah. Uh, to movement then for yep. this ISD. Interesting. Moving along here. Yep. A little over an hour. Uh, yep. Well, you know, that movement's getting his ISD out of the front arc and is going to angle him perfectly to get a rear shot and make some points up with superior positions. So let's see what happens here. As he as he angles around, though, that gladiator can move pretty fast. I think Demo might be the... Well, now you know what? I think... I think he still needs to activate the ISD first and try to delete that projection expert's uh, gladiator. But let's see what happens after this movement. I, I, I could be wrong, but I, I, if I was that ISD, I'd take that shot. Maybe maybe, maybe throw a side shot out at uh, Max ISD for good measure. I, yeah. Unless he's got you know some TIE fighters that are wounded or something. Uh -huh. Movement tool pulled out. Yep. Well... That's moving into the squadron phase now, I think. No, wait. There's got to be, uh, nope. I think, uh, no, ISD. the ISD left. Yeah, yeah, no, no. ISD shows squadrons. Yep. It's, it was, uh, they started round three, so I, I think uh, I think that was the first activation of uh, third round was that ISD. So everything has left to go. So the squadrons, or the squadron portion of the of, ISD Of the activation. ISD's activation, that's correct. He's got to try to put some hurt on these squadrons, man. Yeah. Uh, he, he's he's got to gang up. Yeah. All right. So it looks like they're going to go after Merrick. What do we have? Let's see. I think. Oh wait, we're reconsidering. Are we? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know what he's shooting. Uh, well, there's three hits not and two <laughs> accuracies there. That's. Yep. That so takes down uh, Saber, right? To a two? No. Oh, Steel, sorry. Oh, Stell, Merrick Stell. Yep. yep. So that yep, that takes him down to two hull. All right. All right, so the bomber into an activated TIE fighter. So with flight controllers, here's a blue-black. For oh, nothing. For nothing, man. Andy's dice are not helping him uh, at no. all. I, I think if Andy would be uh, rolls changed a little bit, yeah, we'd see a different averages, story here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're looking at some rolls that are, uh, I mean, disheartening. Yeah. But still, it's a relatively close game. At least that's what we're yeah, we're I mean, estimating at this it's point. It's a game of dice. Yeah. I mean. But Mac Mac winning the squad fight, and I think the ship fight is about ready to have. Not sure who that was. That was Jenden. Yeah. With flight controllers. Hey, Tie Fighter. Tie Fighter's now yep, down, to, down one. to one. Generic Tie. 
You know, those those TIE fighters have been a nuisance. Yeah. All right. Matt going to grab a water real quick, Matt, which is only 10 feet away, thankfully. <laughs> Little table talk. Mac trying to goad his opponent into flanking. Yep. All right, so it's going to be the front shot into the Gladiator. Front to front. Here we go. This is going to be... Oof. Oh, Whoa, okay. Ow. All right, there's no accuracy yet. No but accuracy. Yet. yet. So, so let's see what he adds in here. LTT yep, LTT, first. right. Makes sense. So let's see. He's got a con fire token here too. Oh, he's probably gonna have to use it. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, it looks like eight. He's probably gonna use the con fire token on that red. Yeah. I'm guessing. Oh, oh he's gonna con fire the blue. Well, he's trying to get accuracy. accuracy. That's right. So let's let's see what happens. No, no not going his way. So he's going getting to rid of uh, he's going two with the evade yep. by tossing it. So those will get re-rolled. Well, Rerolls? Oh my goodness! All right, well, so, well, that doesn't pool. help. Okay. Brace redirect. Yep. There will be so that's no four. shields. Yep. So there'll be a crit. There I think, will be a crit we'll established get. here. Let's see, what is it? Target disruptors. Target disruptors. Okay, can't crits are not crits. allowed. You're right. right. Two down on the gladiator. Yep, just two hull. I mean, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, easily, easily. If there was another, uh, if there was an accuracy in there at all to block the brace, that'd well, you be know, one dead gladiator. That, that's just the thing. You know, honestly, the ISD is kitted out to be a carrier. Yes. Oh, okay. Judge call one the, hour. Yep, we just got the hour warning. It's 45 minutes before we hit the no new rounds. All right. So let's see. He's now going to decide, uh, does he shoot side to the Star Destroyer and soften him up, or does he flag? Yep. All Honestly, right, here we go. Probably and he's making his flag. decision. But we'll What's see. he doing? Okay. Pull the dice. He wants to take a shot. He's shooting. Shooting out the side of the Star Destroyer. No, he's not. He's flacking. No, nope, he's okay. flacking. I, I thought he had the reds in his hand. <laughs> yeah, Merrick Steele. Yep. <laughs> Deciding on an LTT here. I mean, attacking a squad, try to kill him? Maybe. Maybe. Running through the math. Yep. Mac helping him with the math. Mac admitting he's not yep, good at math. There's the two blacks. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. And there's there's the hits. Yep. So Merrick Stell. And that, that is, takes is out Merrick Stell, I think. Yep. Merrick Stell is now deceased is on the side. So now we, we are having a stealth free game now from here on out. Uh, yeah, we really are. Yep. This game's still remarkably close. Yep. All right, At least that's our, our current understanding of the game state. That's right. Now let's see. That's going to be interesting. Interesting uh, idea about turning. Mac moving to the other side of the, uh, of the table. Sitting in other people's right, chairs, so keeping them warm for so them. I'm going to very much appreciate great sportsmanship. Yep. So I'm, I'm going to say this really quietly, Ken, because obviously they're measuring, and Andy just went to the other side of the table. But maybe it's just me, but I think the gladiator has enough speed to jump the base. Why not move in and ram that ship? I think but you're right. I, think I you're mean, right. It, it, I'm a star destroyer. I, he doesn't really care about um, about you know one shot from that. Gladiator. Right. From the gladiator. But 
he just moved around uh, on the side, and now that gladiator has a shot on his butt. And, and actually, what worries me there oh. is that now Mac has an opportunity to score some damage in a victory He's, token. That's exactly right. I don't know. If, I mean, you know, I but you know what? We're not out there, so maybe there's a method to his madness. There could be. All right, uh, Mac so revealing a uh, navigate. All right, engineering token. Yep. All right, so let's see what happens. He's gonna he's gonna definitely take that side shot to his butt. Yeah. So he's gonna take the token for the squadron from the Thrawn dial. There's nothing in range, so he he's he's thinking he might live. I mean that that is optimism. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it is. Well, and I'm not, and that's not to ba to bad to to bad it. I mean he's he's at a rough spot. Side to side into the gladiators. Wait, so side to side in the gladiator, he said. I think that's what he said. Yes. Okay. That's four. Oh, there's four. Leaving it there. Well, he's gonna he's gonna brace that for sure. Redirect. Brace. I think that gets rid of the side shields. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's not redirecting. Okay. And. Good sportsmanship. Yep. He forgot to he forgot to put the shield on after he spent that token. Right. All right. So here's side to bum. Oh my Ooh. goodness gracious! You can't That's get better than seven. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh. Okay. That's that's a worthwhile shot. Max dice have been absolutely hot. on fire. They they have been in. Oh, is he re-rolling? He's re-rolling. Uh, oh no, that was that was, was the evade. No, that was PDIC. I think PDIC. Yeah. All right, so there's uh, six. Six still. That's a lot. Oh, there's oh, okay, the now here's the evade of a double. Yep, oh stays as a double. Goodness. Yeah. Yep, and the, a good point. He's got and the, 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 he's got the uh, so face up damage card that says he doesn't uh, resolve critical. But he's probably going to brace and re redirect, I'm guessing. Yep. And but uh, he gets a victory token. Yeah, and Mac just uh, he's pulling that out now. Yep. Hey, with close games like this, 15 points can 15 be a points big difference. 15 points can make all the difference in the world. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. We are right, now talking ramming he's speed. He's talking here. ramming. He may ram the gladiator. Yeah, that that might. Which be. is interesting because it's going to keep him in place. Which allows the rear him for another the opportunity to take that shot. Possibly. But I mean, Demolisher may have something to say about that. I mean, you might be right in that. That uh, Max Gladiator is not exactly uh, pristine anymore. No, but you know, if he keeps if he keeps Demolisher there, he may save the rear shots on Off his own Star see. Destroyer as as Demolisher tries to swing around. So are we? Well, they're okay. talking. They're grabbing talking. an alternative maneuver tool. Yep. Oh, there's right. some thinking here. Yep. So it it's going to be a very, very close. Does it ram or doesn't it? And I think it's going to come down to where the shield dial sits. All right. Oh, They're wow. Nose to that, nose. That, that's nose to nose. That's, uh, that's a, you know, I'm going to switch over here to camera four. Guys, look, look at, at that. that. Uh, that's that's no. you don't now, get closer than he's that. He's double arced. I, be, did I definitely, believe he's double yeah. arced. But but demo has to move before that second shot. Yeah. So so you're gonna get one quick shot and then yeah. Starting to get a crowd here watching what we're doing. Yep. Yep. Well, a lot of interest in this table. I mean, yeah. Well, for a number of reasons. One, it's the one under the lights. Yep. To all, all four games currently going on here for day three are important games. Absolutely. Skilled oh, first skilled officer, first officer. All right. dropping, dropping the top so command, so going showing to uh, an showing an F. He's going to use it as a dial. dial. Definitely he's going to use it as a dial.
I'm guessing it's going to be the front first. Front to front. That'd be my guess. Well, remember. Because then he has to scoot to the side with that nav dial. Slow yeah. down, get a double click, and try to get those blacks and, and on really point. And really get in there. All right, so side, side to side. side. Oh, it's side oh, to so side. Side to side to start. Okay. All right. Oh, unless he rams him and stays in place. Uh, there's double, 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 and that's seven. Yeah, wow. that's a lot. That is a Let's lot. Let's see what the crit would have been. That does take out the, the demo. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of points that Andy just picked up. All right. Uh, not demo, uh, just the gladiator. Uh, just the gladiator, not, not, not demo. All right, so let's see if he now uses that dial to move up in speed, hard turn at the end, and get a butt shot on that Star Destroyer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as if on command... But I don't know if he's going to get that front arc in if he does that. Uh, that's going to be the problem. Although, he, needs he could get the, the other side arc. Because he fired out the right. That's correct. He could fire out good, the left good side. Good point. Good point, Ken. I well, occasionally I have one of those. Well, Adrian. you know, honestly. Well, yeah, of, course <laughs> you do. of course you do. You know, he's flirting with that obstacle, too. So, I'm just... I'm just I was I was just naturally thinking he was going to try to get the red dice in because I didn't know if he'd get that close. But um you're right. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, we're we're waiting with bated breath to see precisely where this goes. All right, so that's going to be his movement. Let's see. That's where he's going. Okay. He just makes it. Yeah, that's some that's some fancy flying. Wow. But I don't think he's got the front. Well, the problem is they're measuring out the side here. I don't uh, think he's switched to camera six here real fast. They've they've got. Is he an arc? Oh, that's. They may call a judge. Oh here. my goodness, that's. If he's in arc, that is the most narrow in arc measurement that I've seen. Uh, we're not going to get a good view here. I'm going to go back here to camera six. Yep. All right, they're holding him down. They're making a call. In. Wow. It's in. They've got that shot wow. side All to right. rear. So here comes two reds. Uh, Are they I close? think that was the side. That's oh, side. For the side. Okay, they were So this is going to be black oh, dice. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, That's right. We've oh, got some dice control. Oh. We've got some dice There's control. There's the ordinance experts. Never this again. is where you want them to count. <laughs> Did not uh, count. Wow. Man. But you know what? You still token. get the victory token. That's right. At this point, almost more important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brunson so down to one. Brunson to one. and uh, But victory token. Yeah. Wow. That uh, incredible maneuvering here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to show you from the top here. This is just, you, you can't see it very well. Actually, maybe that here. Arc is just you know, trying to find a good angle. And there really isn't one. So let me go back here to camera six. Yep. And, and what I want what I want to do here is, is just showcase this nice bit here. Arrow, right? Man. You've got, thank you very much. You've got the front zone, or the side zone. This is the arc line here. And it is just making it past to make that shot. Yep. So we have an engineering, yep. engineering. dial uh, uh, off the no, uh, token. Or, yeah, taken as a token. Let me go over here to camera three. All right. <laughs> All right. So the Gozer is going to be moving in. Coming in behind. Right. Speed two. No, speed three. Speed three. Speed three goes there, trying to keep up with the Star Destroyer. Squad phase. Squad phase here. <laughs> and let's see what Mac has left to activate. Dylan, turn three. This is definitely turning out to be uh, quite the game. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So uh, this is. I don't uh, know what that is. Is squad. that a TIE fighter? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, tie into a bomber, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think it is tie into a bomber. Yep. So, I think yep. there was two hits on it. Yep, I think so. And we're going to see how many hull the bomber has on it. I think three, because it was at full. It was at full. 
All right, so that is okay. the end of the round. Question. We're gonna go into round four. Round four. Uh, this is uh, this is a different game. I'm loving this one. This, this is great. Is, uh, you know, sometimes, Adrian, we get lucky with the the game that we choose to put on stream. And we can get a great matchup. We've got two great competitors in, in Andy and Mac here. Yep. Um, you know, this is this is really close. And these guys need points to be in the hunt. Right. I mean, we, we, we need to see some shooting, some major shooting here. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is we've got, um, there's still plenty of, of, of work to go here. Uh-huh. Um, it's just a matter now of who sits where. Yep, but yeah, at this point, it's still anyone's game. The competition is still very close across the yep. field, uh, and I I would be really surprised here. I think if you can stay within that six five range, either side, either player will probably still well, have a good shot. But in this case, we we need we need a bigger win. So if these squads are a mutually assured destruction type of situation, I mean, clearly Mac has got the squad game won so far. Right. Uh, what what really needs to happen is. I think for him, Demolisher needs to get in and score some points, some victory points. Right. Even if you're not going to destroy that Star Destroyer, getting those points at 15 a pop is going to make up for the loss of some of those squads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so no Hondo, and it looks like the Thrawn dial is... Big surprise, squads for the beginning of round As four. As if we weren't expecting that yep. one, right? So let's see if Matt can eliminate the rest of his squads. I mean, right now what's left is there's a TIE Bomber on three hull, there's an Interceptor on one, and Jendon on four. Right. Uh, he's he's moving his EWS to the to the rear for that obstruction, so um, it'll you know remove a die from Gladiator as it comes around. We will have a mini lunch break between this round and next, uh, but it's only going to be about a 30-minute one. So it'll be a uh, short time frame. <laughs> Healing up. All right, so we have a uh, shot here. This was a uh, TIE fighter yep. into uh, an interceptor. Yep. And then I'm sure it got the one damage yeah. to destroy it. But there will be some counter. Yep, for one. Oh, I just that. Uh, that was the one that yep. uh, Mac just dropped yeah, on the he, station. He tipped on the station to yeah. heal up one, but now it's back down. All right, so that interceptor is eliminated. Now let's see what other work the flight controller TIE fighters can do. Because I think he's still got three of them. <laughs> yeah, yep, I think you're right. So two more. All right, so it looks like Vader has been cleared in, uh, from that interceptor and is now going to move toward the rear of that gladiator. Yep, so he's going to move toward the rear of that gladiator and he's going to roll his two red uh, with Adept, trying to get some damage in and get some victory tokens. Let's see. Uh, mo movement dice tray, please. Thank you. All right, so it looks like you know, he is Bobber, so that does it. That is some damage. That is damage. Yep. Bomber's down to three. Yep, so he's going to brace that, apparently, and uh, take the one on the one shield left. But victory token. Yeah, another victory token there for Mac. Yeah. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Now that he's cleared up some stuff, he may just he may just throw all the squads at the rear. Garrett coming back. Uh, he's just walked into the booth after doing important business. Nice. Yeah, he was he was. The, I don't know if you heard him. He said Iron Radio Ambassador work. Uh, catch you up, Garrett. This has been a triangle on triangle slugfest. 
Uh, uh, Mac has really been annihilating Andy's squads. His dice have not been cooperating in the squad game. But as far as the ships go, um, Andy's ships eliminated the other gladiator and is, are now circling around the back of Mac's Star Destroyer. Uh, it's really kind of an interesting little uh, dance here. Mac did lose his gladiator. So, so let's see. What, what, are we, what are we attacking here? That looks Not like sure that's what a squadron just attacked. squadron. Um, Jendon, maybe? No. Why Jendin, are there the three Morna to Jendon. Oh, yeah. Morna to Jendon. Gotcha. And flight controllers. Yeah, that makes sense. There's the blue yeah. guy. Okay. So Jendon is now down to two, two. hull. And then Morna will move. Because Jendon, yeah, he's heavy. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. Yep, and I, I think uh, it's it, very correct. I think in, in the chat, you know, that where those ISDs are positioned, they both live. I think that's correct. Uh, even with Demolisher chasing down that Star Destroyer, um, I think I think it's going to come down to points now. It's like, who can shoot the butt of what to get these points? We're going to have, we believe, the TIE Fighter into... All right, TIE Fighter into Jendon. Here comes four blue dice into Jendon. This could be it. Uh, just Ooh, the one, but nope. with Swarm. Swarm. It is, it Two. is. That's it. And I Block think that's both the braces, kill and it kills him. Oh. Jendon takes takes a hammer in. Jendon is the Rocky Balboa of Imperial Squadrons, but he was just taken down with a perfect roll. And now he moves into possibly block. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, about half an hour yep. left to get to the two-hour mark. All right, and now uh, this is <laughs> a very accurate shot. I'm not shot. sure who's shooting who. Uh, that went up against the TIE bomber. Oh, okay. One. Into the I think it was another TIE fighter. Okay. So that TIE fighter and landing on the station. Move and land on the station, right? Healing itself back up to three. Yep. Side to side right. shots. Side this to side shots. Star that, Destroyer uh, to the, the demo. Demolisher. Right, right, right. All right. Ooh, there's an accuracy. This could spell trouble if there's any kind of correction. Accuracy uh, blocking the out the redirect. All right. And taking one. Yeah, you know, softening up this demolisher really makes him think twice about circling around to shoot. Okay, here's Flack. Yep. One? One down on the TIE Fighter, I think. Or on, uh, no, the, on the, the, the bomber. Uh-huh. I think that, did that take it? No, it's, no, it's, it's still got a hull. couple. One hole. ISD on Andy's side. Uh, now, uh, actually, Andy's just going to go ahead and activate He's going to activate all three ships. Yeah, there's only one left. So, Speed zero with the, uh, with with the max ISD. ISD. Wow. Okay. Mac has dropped his speed Any zero. shots? Okay, yeah, so he's, got, so he's got one red to throw at the butt, I'm guessing. Because EWS on the rear takes those two reds down to uh, one. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the one red, one red into the rear. That's a crit. crit. Brunson it. So he's going to Brunson zero, it. So no, no dice token. in the pool. Considering on what to go do here. Mm hmm. Okay, moving the ISD. This has been a, uh, a crazy and unpredictable game here. Yes, very much. So we are waiting with bated right. breath to see how this turns out. All right, the yeah. ISD is moved. Speed My breath three. is not bated. I am. I am. 
I'm smoothly breathing, knowing in my heart that the Imperials are not only going to win this match with certainty, <laughs> but they will do so with panache. Uh, yes, Mac dropped the Star Destroyer to speed zero. Yes, we were surprised too. But you know what? There's a method to his madness. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, Mac is uh, uh, a seasoned player. I'm sure he has a reason for it. Yep. Glad He's going into the side of the ISD. All right. Into the rear of the ISD. Rear, yes. The rear. Uh, there's three. Okay, there's three. I believe they forgot EWS. <laughs> Oh, that's that's on them. Unless it was side to side, but yep, I know. Well, four. Okay. Two shields. Yep, and uh, victory token. Yeah. He's going to maneuver. Players switching sides here so that yep. they can so they can get make the that maneuver. One. We're waiting for Mac to just uh, come over to this side of the, uh, the table on the like booth and say hello like to everyone. It looks like he's toying with the idea of uh, t flying away. Well, it's so an now even you've number got of victory tokens. Right, uh, that's been evened out. And now Andy taking a look at where he wants to move Demolisher, but you got to be careful because you really don't want to run into that debris field at this stage in the game, no, potentially obstructing shots, and then of course you always have the opportunity to EW us well, uh, and if, take if another die away. If well, you only take well, if away. he's yeah, if he's obstructed, it doesn't matter it doesn't because matter. he's going to be obstructed right. from EWS. But he needs to stay in range and try. I mean, if he's not, if the star star is not moving, or is only not going to be moving a little bit, if you can try to get you know, some shots on his rear to get more victory tokens. Right now, it's such a close game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you start taking down shields on Demolisher, you could be in a position where could some of Max fighters and the rear shots from the ISD take down a Gladiator? Absolutely. Oh, right. 100%. I mean, I mean he's got Vader there. Vader's he's got Morna. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, they can come and, in and do and some devastating damage to him. And that's ship. dangerous. That's yep, dangerous. You're right. You're absolutely now, right. This this is a, an interesting move here huh. because now you've got a rear opening shot into the gladiator. Yeah, and uh, and not only that, you've kind of restricted yourself about who goes first, right? That star star should probably go before that gladiator. Right. Uh, no, it was a matter of shields that we were talking about. So it looks like it's in medium range. Yeah. Uh, now the gozer gets to go. Looks like the Gozers, from, from what we're hearing at the table, is going to disengage somehow. Yeah. But we'll see where it goes. Uh, it discards its dial. Uh, no, wait, we're not in turn four yet. No, it's not. Uh, where you discard your dial, and then you jump to hyperspace, right? Don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that in this tournament. <laughs> no. No, we are in turn four. So, yeah, he yep. could do that if this was a campaign game. But this is definitely not a campaign game. All right, let's see here. Decisions, decisions. They're confirming that they've moved everything. Yep. But I think. Okay. Think we're going to uh, jump to turn five here. Yep. We're going to go to this angle here. Now, Mac does get to activate first, so he'll be able to, right. to increase his speed on the ISD. Uh, if he's got a nav or a token. 
because he's throwing, remember? A squadron. He's going to stay at zero? Unless he's got a token. So, yep, the squads are coming in at the Gladiator and they're going to score some points. All right, here comes Vader. Dice tray. Yep. Oh, Adept 2. That's what that's for. And all right, there's the crit. Another token for Mac. Oh, Crew Panic. Oh, my goodness. So he gets a token and Crew Panic goes off. That is uh, kind of harsh. That is going to hurt. Yes. All right, TIE Fighters coming in. So I think he's trying to move himself into obstruction from the ISD yep. while still moving into a position to shoot the butt of the gladiator. I think he can do it. I think so. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I think that's true. <laughs> All right. So intention, the players understand what the intention is, and there's the one hit. There's a hit. Oh, a PDIC? One Not hit. PDIC. Oh, he um, evaded it. Evading. Yeah. Sorry, PDIC is on the Star Destroyer. Um, okay, so another token. See, now now this, this token advantage is where it's really going to come into play. I think this is where the victory is going to happen. I, I, I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, but right now we're 30 points up. In this case, we're trying to speed up the gameplay. Yep. So Rather than moving back into and forth range. measuring. Yep. <laughs> they both the players agreed that that was the best way to handle this. Uh, it fell out of the tray, but we'll see it here in a minute. All right. All right. So it was a miss. They checked it out. They decided to yep. keep the die. That's fine. Yep. Thirty-minute warning from the judges. And no one else can get there from the looks of it. So we're going to have an ISD shot, I think. All right, so he's removing a red. He's got spinals, so that's two red and two blue out the back. He removes right. a red, and it's going to be a red and two blues. At the butt of the gladiator, there's some damage. Another victory token. Yeah. But hang on. We, and we've... Well, they th still get the token, but right. let's see what it does to that. Well, glad. assuming that all the dice stay, but yeah, I can't see how they would get rid of them. <laughs> well, the crit will matter. The crit will matter. That could change the game depending on what the card is. For sure. So we'll s Mac looking I confident. Know. I don't know if there's a way out of it for Demolisher. I don't know. Oh, so he's going to toss pitching, his uh, evade to re-roll both those blues. Which okay. stays hits. Yep. Yep. That's it. There goes uh, and a demo. victory token. That is the swing. Yeah. That that is yep. going <laughs> to change the map. <laughs> the, there's there's some big chuckles coming from the table. I mean, it's again good sportsmanship. I mean, that was a pretty devastating move for and for, right. for Andy to endure, and they're chuckling about it. That I mean, you know, it, when you're playing uh, high level opponents, you just have to sometimes chuckle at what goes on and just you know chalk you're it up to 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 good play. Y you really do. <laughs> you really do. And actually, I think I think that's going to wind up saving. Uh, Max ISD, well, but we're going to find out. Oh, I, I think for sure. I think for sure. Uh, and I'm not sure what that is. Two. There it goes. Oh, One flat. of the TIE Fighters. All right. Flack. TIE flack. Fighter. Got yeah. it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's going to keep flacking those uh, squads that came in to do the Gladiator dirty. And so there's one. There's another one. Okay. 
Confire. Confire in. Oh, there you go. All right. All right. Okay. Gonna. There goes the Someone's two. bracing. Vader. Yeah. Oh, that was Vader. Uh, and accuracy. accuracy. Very accurate shot. Vader down to four. Morna still at yep. seven. Yep. All right, and, and he is uh, going to, well, he's trying to get some points, so he may turn in here. What has he got to lose? Can he, can he swing around? Yeah, it's speed two he can. Ozil, Ozil could go to two. No, he's staying at three. He's staying at three. Okay. All right. And then we've got the Gazanti to go. Gazanti does Gazanti things. Uh, in this case, running. All right, here's, here's, a little, here's a little drift. Yep. All right, Ozil and Nav. All right. So here's squad phase. So last. Uh, Let's see last what gets moved here. in here. That's, That's Morna. Morna. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if that TIE Fighter just moved directly onto the station. Mm. Healed up his damage and just kind of sat, sat this one out. Sat this one He's out. easily flacked, especially with LTT, especially with Confire. I mean, do you really want to expose a TIE Fighter to that Star Destroyer's flak and more, give up eight points for nothing? Probably not. But I am not Mac, and Mac decides to throw it in the way. Come at me, bro. Here we go into yep. turn six. Yep. <laughs> no Thrawn, obviously. Those dials are used. So let's see what that... So I think we're going to see a Hondo. Making decisions of what they want to do. All right. So... So he's hondoing, he gets a con fire and something to Andy. Revealed. All right. Big surprise. Squadron command for uh, the ISD from Mac. And here comes some token action. That looks to be Vader coming on hot. It's a damage. He's going to adept reroll. Yeah. Hit crit. PDIC. Let's see what happens with that. Well, that's crit. Still crit. Yep. So it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Just think, allow it. I think that's just, another. Just, just take it. Another token. Just relax into it. He's getting a token. I mean, spoiler alert that Star Destroyer is not going down, but these tokens are going to make a difference. Uh, yeah. I mean, you at know, this point, you have a token's worth of. or a Star well, Destroyer's worth of tokens. And, and he's done so much. Uh, okay, so here it comes. Yep, he's done. He's done so much damage to his to okay, his opponent's squad go. ball. Then, um, uh, you know, he's uh, he's so going for the margin. Roll down into the table. It didn't matter. They yep. just uh, let that go. Yep. Confire command on the right, ISD. So now he is the ISD is going to take a shot at his butt. It's going to be obstructed. So one red. And there's a con fire, so. One red, add in a die, and a reroll. So let's see what this does. Nothing. L LTT? LTT. Oh, jeez. Still nothing. And he's dice. Not helping. All right, so he uh, he gets a shot. Yeah. 
gets one damage. He got the shot, yeah. Wow. Okay. I I think there's probably not much left here to go do. No, there isn't. But it, it, just in case Morna is in flak range. Well, didn't look I like mean, she see, was. Now here's the other thing to consider: is Morna is rogue. Morna is rogue, so he's going to ozzle down to two. I think I heard him say. So as he swings around, can Morna at speed three get around and take a shot at his butt? I think she can. She's close enough. As he moves forward, even if uh, no matter where he turns, he doesn't want to turn away. But if he turns in, I think she can still get to the side and get that butt shot. Right. These star destroyer arcs are very forgiving on the side for squadrons to hit the rear. Right. And that's that's what it's going to come down to. Absolutely, so Ozzle down to slow enough to make that turn. To well, be able he's to two, and uh, right. no, I think she's going to speed three to his butt. We're going to find yep. out. We're um, going to find I'm, out. Would you like to make a gentleman's bet? Oh, I say no, yes. I, I I I I am. I mean, the camera angle's rough, but I think I think it is. I, I think she might make it. Uh, the see. question will be here's the measure. The dot? I oh. am. Oh, look at that by look millimeters. By the millimeters. Best best angles here, so. Yep. Oh, They're calling a judge. Judge call. This. Let's make this call. Alan coming from out from around the cordon to make the official Morna Key shot call. <laughs> Sorry for the volume, everyone. Wow. I had to yell that a little bit so that Alan could actually hear and, and give me a side eye look. So let's see what the ruling is. I'm thinking that the ruling is going to be a no. Unfortunately. I might be losing this gentleman's bet from Ken. Right. So now we're... we're it's close. What did we decide? Closest style. Let's see. Oh, it's close. It's a shot. It is a it shot. It is a shot. <laughs> All right. So it is obstructed. There's Didn't matter. Three. Another token. <laughs> Morna wow. Key with another token. Hands shaking, and Man, I think that's. Right. So let's uh, see this the game. They gave each other a you hug, know, that's folks. A, that's yep. uh, yeah. That. They, this is some good sportsmanship, this honestly. It's, I mean, at this level, I mean, what a great uh, game. You six know, e tokens to two. I think it's six, maybe seven. Yeah. I six. don't know. Six. Six? Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's, six tokens that's to two. That's incredible. And yes. All We've right. got a rough idea of what the score is, but we're going to wait for the final uh, bits of information to come in and yep. actually get us the specific uh, information. Well, the, f the first swing because Mac was really unloading on the squadrons and really alpha effectively. Mm -hmm. Lots of squads went away. Then the swing was Andy got the gladiator. Right. That made it almost even. Then Mac came in with some amazing high rolls, got demo out of the way, and continued his squad onslaught and token farming. Uh, just, I mean, that, it, that, it, that's my... Th there was a point where <laughs> we thought this could have easily gone one way or the other, right. uh, and 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 but uh, you know when Mac first lost his gladiator, I thought that'd mm -hmm. be a problem. And then of course dropping to speed zero on your ISD, a gutsy move uh, yep. that wound up paying off. Definitely did. I mean, it you know he's he's able to then Brunson around all those uh, uh, obstacles. He's got EWS. He's got. I mean, it. Yeah. I mean. So you know what, actually, while we're here, I'm going to do take one quick look at something, and I want to mm -hmm. showcase this. Take a look at those engines on that tan painted Star Star. Nice, clean yep. uh, red clean lines orange, in there. Red. Yep. No, uh, very I nice. mean, you know, this is, this is gorgeous. And again, part of the hobby here for Star Wars Armada with being able to paint your ships and everything else. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it shows the creativity of all the different players. And we've had a number of really good-looking models that we've just seen Absolutely. throughout the, the three, four days now. <laughs> And you know, and you know, uh, the thing is, uh, that hobby aspect of it um, is really, really um, important because when you get two Imperials on the table, you know, having different paint jobs really, really helps. So, oh, so we are getting that it is a 7-4, 133 MOV, one TIE Fighter mattered. Wow. 
Wow. wow. One TIE fighter saved the seven, uh, saved him to a 7-4. Amazing. So we're going to flip here to the, the, the presenter cam, and we are going to talk about uh, the, this game a little bit more. So, you know, Adrian and I are still <laughs> here. Final computed score uh, and verified by the players. Mac with 289 points. Uh, with Andy 158, the vast majority of those points for Mac coming from Victory Tokens. 60 point difference, 90 to 30. Right. 60 point swing. That alone right there is the 6 5, uh, uh, right? Huge. So, uh, and we were one TIE fighter. So, mm -hmm. uh, a seven, it's a 7 4 at 133 point margin of victory. Yep. Uh, an 8 3 would have been 140. So we we're yeah. that close. Yep. To one more TIE fighter, or, uh, or, you know, or, yeah. or if Andy wouldn't have destroyed that last TIE fighter, uh, that been would have eight been three. an 8 3 victory uh, for, for, um, uh, for, for, Mac. for Mac. So, I mean, uh, again, incredible in terms of how this, this winds up working out. Yep. Uh, but uh, just an impressive game. So we're going to see how this winds up tallying out uh, as we go on. What we can say is taking a look at the scores, uh, Andy's now at 8 points, mm -hmm. Max at 10. We don't know where that's going to put them in terms of the rest of the tournament standings. Yeah. Nope. Uh, uh, nor can we really say just yet. Also but true. I, I do believe this may have been one of the last tables to, to finish up. Yeah, again, you know, the, the top table, everybody's very careful. They want to uh, really, really, uh, you know, perform well. Mm -hmm. They want to have a good showing for everybody watching. Yes. And have fun as well. Most definitely. But, um, yeah, it, they take their time. Yeah, make sure everything's correct. They, they they did, and you know what? Hats off to them because they did finish the complete game. Yep. Uh, there's still uh, another uh, 15 minutes in the round, but uh, there is going to be a lunch break here. So uh, while what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to sit down, we're going to figure out who is going to be on the final table, right. and uh, we will be back giving you all the results up to date with whoever that winds up being. Uh, and then until then, I think on behalf of Adrian, Garrett, and John, I'm Ken saying so long from the Hyatt Regency Hotel here in Schaumburg where you've been watching the 2024 Star Wars Armada World Championship here at Adepticon. And yes, you are going to get, you, you get choked out <laughs> by the Lord of the Sith. So we will see you guys in about... Uh, Half an hour? Yeah, give or take. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs>